struggling to get those criminals on the table for their families. We care about it. We understand that there is politics, but we must do it in a civil manner. We believe that the appropriate thing is to quietly jail to them and wait upon Mrs. Speaker. After all, the ruling was directed at Parliament and the Speaker, not at individual MP. Yesterday, the bailiff of the Supreme Court served the Parliament of Ghana through the legal director, the director of the legal department received the ruling of the court. So, in other words, Mr. Speaker is on constructive notice, or maybe, I should say, actual notice of the ruling of the court. We have to leave it there and respect Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker has been part of our democracy since 1992. He's a senior lawyer, he's practiced in our courts, and I believe that even if Mr. Speaker disagrees with the Supreme Court, he knows what to do. Suffice to state, at the risk of being repetitive, that we were not disrespectful of the chair when the Speaker made this pronouncement and the majority caucus disagreed with Mr. Speaker. We didn't cause commotion here. We left quietly and told Mr. Speaker that the right place to express those grievances will be at the court. So we expect our brothers and our sisters on the NDC minority side to do the needful. But all would be for Mr. Speaker to make a final determination. The nation is looking after Mr. Speaker. All his years in politics, this is a crucial moment for him to add weight to what we have done to preserve the peace. MPP is for peace. MPP is for peace. MPP is for peace of God. We will not allow anybody to disturb the peace of the country. It is a notorious fact that we remain the majority caucus of this parliament. You, the media, must add your voice to the advocacy to compel our colleagues to respect the fidelity of the law. I have heard a respected colleague on the outside, Honorable Dr. Ayili, calling on Mr. Speaker to respect the Supreme Court decision. If that is true, then that's a noble call from him. Dr. Ayini is somebody I respect because of his respect for the law. I believe that moderates on the side of NDC will prevail on the hearts in their party to call them to order. So I would want to thank you for being with us. We are leaving this chamber 